Go ahead. Hi, I'm Rachel Frischberg. According to the official journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics, five to ten percent, five to twenty percent of the population has dyslexia. So, in the Palm Beach County School District, that is approximately twenty-two thousand dyslexic students. Research shows that children with dyslexia usually feel inadequate and do poorly in school, even though they have average to gifted IQs. Many are retained due to their inability to read and write at grade level, even though they can understand and verbalize the material with no problem. Problems. I am here tonight to advocate for these 22,000 kids that are currently suffering since they are not receiving the education that they need and are entitled to. In order for a dyslexic student to thrive, the International Dyslexic Association has endorsed many multisensory so structured language programs that have a strong record in classroom success, and we need to implement these programs in our classroom for our dyslexic students. Right now, the district has invested in the well which meets the requirements to successfully help our dyslexic students. The issue is that currently the district only has around 40 trained teachers that meet the Wilson guidelines for teaching dyslexic children. Sadly, I've been told that many of these trained teachers are not even in teaching positions. In contrast, the gifted program, which should only affect 2% of the population, has hundreds of teachers and at least 60 schools with a gifted program. This seems outrageously unfair to me, a parent of both a gifted and dyslexic child, and I hope to you too. I can tell you just how hard it is to see my very bright second grade daughter struggle day in and day out with decoding words and feeling stupid because her brain processes differently. Knowing that we can allot our resources more fairly, I urge you to do something because currently so many dyslexic kids are failing in our current school system when they could be thriving. For starters, the school district needs to hire, I think, more teachers to teach the Wilson Reading Program to the dyslexic children. We need to start dyslexic screen in pre-K and kindergarten and give teachers tools to intervene at a younger age. Moreover, we need to test all struggling readers for dyslexia, just like we test for gifted and autism. We cannot continue to let our current dyslexic children suffer because we don't have a current place and plan to teach them. We need an action plan to solve this problem. In Duval County, they have created the GAP Grasp a Choice Academy, which is an entire school dedicated to teaching dyslexic children with average to gifted IQs, become successful learner learners by incorporating project-based learning and enrichment with prescriptive multi-century sensory instruction and interventions. I have personally spoken to the principal there, Amanda Sawyer, and she has said the results are amazing and the dyslexic students in her school are thriving. We need to create a similar program in our school district and hire more teachers with specific, specific training to teach dyslexic students. We cannot let the 5 to 10, 20 percent of our students fail. Thank you so much for listening to my urgent plea tonight. I hope we can make a difference for these dyslexic children. I heard a lot about equity tonight, and um, I think what I what we would like to present is equity even within the ESE department um, between the exceptionalities. Um, we don't have um, actual figures for dyslexia. All we have is. Um, we can only go off, or off of national percentages. And with that number, we would have approximately 22,000 students in Palm Beach County with dyslexia. Without proper intervention, dyslexia children with average to gifted IQs will most likely do poorly in school and develop low self-esteem. It's a demoralizing situation. Some will even fail to graduate and be at risk. Um, this is where we hear a lot of times the school uh, to prison pipeline. Um, they don't always have the interventions uh, that help them to break through those barriers and overcome. Palm Beach County School District tests for ESE giftedness and Child Find does autism screenings, uh, but we do not test or provide a screen for dyslexia. Um, especially for those children with language impairments um, that you see in kindergarten or first grade. Um, Palm Beach County school system has hundreds of gifted teachers and at least 60 schools with gifted programs. While there are no schools with a dyslexia program, currently only 40 teachers district-wide are qualified to teach a uh, Wilson reading program, proven to help dyslexic children to read, write, and spell. Um, I've observed this Wilson um, and it's an amazing program. And um, right now, there isn't enough professional development 
um, invested in this Wilson program, level one, level two, which is almost like a fidelity program, uh, where the second part of that is it's not just worksheet training, it's when you actually sit with the student and implement a reading program with fidelity and um, you see it progress and the child graduates from level to level. Um, all children are entitled to an education that will let them reach their full potential. Um, there's quite a few parents that would like to see a solution to this. Um, we'd like to see more professional development uh, with multi-sensory um, curriculum. And uh, we'd also like to see a choice, a new choice program, something similar to the one in Duval County in North Florida. It's uh, the Grass Choice Academy and it's project-based learning and it's um, multi-sensory, which is tactile access. And um, actually, we have some handouts uh, that we'd like to give everybody. And uh, we'd like to see something like this in the future for our county, for all our students. Thank you very much. Staff will get back with you all on this issue. So thank you very much, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. My name is Chuck Harvey.